I think people are making money poisoning diabetics. Deborah Kruger is a diabetic on a mission to expose the dangerous mislabeling of food products. There are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of products, low carb products, supposed low carb products out there that aren't low carb. Her latest target, carb crunchers, bread, bagels, and brownies, made in New York but sold mostly through online stores. She bought the multi-grain bread because the facts on the nutrition label make you think it's low carb. But after eating a couple of slices, it absolutely skyrocketed my, my blood sugar. So Deborah, a professional chef, took the unusual step of paying to have the bread tested in a lab. They came back as 25 carbs instead of the 11 that they stated. Fox 5 then bought a number of carb cruncher products, had them tested in a different laboratory, and got almost identical results. The label on the multigrain rye bread says a two-slice serving has just 90 calories and 11 carbs, but the lab found almost 160 calories and over 26 grams of carbs. The Everything Bagel also had twice as many carbs as claimed, and the brownie, listed online as 150 calories, 5 grams of fat, has over 300 calories and 15 grams of fat. Deborah wasn't surprised. There's so much money to be made. There's no oversight by the FDA. All of these companies are on their own to put a true label on, a, on, on packaging. The FDA does not check nutrition labels, and companies do not have to provide any proof to support their claims. A spokesperson says FDA's policy assigns the manufacturer the responsibility for assuring the validity of a product label's stated nutrient values. In other words, it's the honor system, and it's easy to get away with lying to consumers, as Carb Crunchers is doing. I think it's horrible. I don't, I can't understand why no one has ever questioned it. Even worse, when Deborah looked closely at the label of the bread that spiked her blood sugar, she found it doesn't even list the name of the manufacturer. There is no contact information whatsoever on it. No manufacturer, no telephone number, nothing. And nowhere on the label of most of the Carb Crunchers products we bought does it say who makes it and where. Only on this package of pumpernickel bread did we find a clue. It says distributed by Healthy Delight Snacking Corporation in Wood, New York. But there's no address, no phone number. So we did an internet search for the company and came up with this location, a building in Inwood where we were told Healthy Delight used to rent office space but moved out. What if I'd been gotten sick from it? What if I'd been poisoned by it? and turned it into the FDA, they would have no clue, no clue how to find this company. We also contacted websites that have sold Carb Crunchers products. One had a picture of a label with a telephone number on it that they used to order the product, but that number's been disconnected. And no one had any other contact information for Carb Crunchers or Healthy Delight. Another site says Carb Crunchers is out of business. That could be true, but some websites and stores are still selling leftover inventory, so Deborah says she'll keep sounding the alarm. They're poisoning people every day, one slice of bread at a time. So into our Fox 5 Hall of Shame, we induct Healthy Delight and Carb Crunchers for lying to its customers, and the FDA for failing to police product labeling. Shame, shame, shame. The FDA says there is a regulation requiring manufacturers to put their name and contact information on food labels. Deborah Kruger has filed a formal complaint against carb crunchers with the FDA. We'll see if anything happens. Bottom line, most large food manufacturers do accurately label their products, but we've done many reports about smaller companies making false nutritional claims. So be careful, especially if your health depends on it. If you've got a story idea for us, go to our website, myfoxny.com, click on the shame link at the top of the page, or call us at 1-877-TELL-FOX-5. I'm Arnold Diaz, Fox 5 News.